But I don't feel like partying I don't feel like partying So I ain't wait a minute, who is she? Stepped in a building She money from her head to her feet Ooh, Mama know she can land Okay, so we can party now and welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me like a night out edition or party edition or whatever you want to call it whoa I'm like whoa this is weird this is just gonna be like the party edition or a night out edition whatever you want to call it because I'm going out to like this party type thing I don't know if that's what you would call it but whatever I'm just I'm going there if you guys want to see bless you if you guys want to see how I got ready for this just stay tuned Okay, so first off for makeup, I'm just going to take this makeup wipe and take off all the excess makeup from the night before or earlier today or whatever. Cause I'm just the man. I'm the man, I'm the man. And then I'm taking my Dream Fresh 8-in-1 BB Cream from Maybelline and my Fake Beauty Blender and just putting that all over my face to even out my skin tone. And now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and putting that under my eyes and any other places that I want to cover up. Now I'm taking my big fluffy brush from Eco Tools and this e.l.f. golden bronzer and just bronzing my face. I'm really not good at makeup, so I'm in no way a professional. I'm just showing you guys what I did. And since my area got a little messy, I decided to clean it up a little, so here's me cleaning it up. Let me hit my this face is nothing. I got my whole team with me in this rocking. My van so the voice. So now I'm going to take this NYC trio and taking the lightest color on the top and just putting that all over my lid. Bless. And then I'm taking this purpley color and putting that on my outer corner and blending it into the crease. Some tapioca and some ice, please. It's gonna be a good day and I can feel it. And since that wasn't very pigmented, I took this purple shadow from my Wet n Wild palette and I'm putting that in my outer corner to make it a little darker and more defined. Bottom, chase dreams, you know we ain't stopping. Right around in the way of my and here I'm taking this really light, sparkly white color and putting that on my brown bone and my inner corner to brighten up the whole look. Can you turn me up? Just a little bit. I actually put this piece of tape there to help me. You could see the eyeshadow a lot better in person and on the right eye it turned out a lot better on the left eye and it was just all kind of weird but that's just how it ended up turning out. And so now I'm taking my eyelash curler and I really love this curler because it's like all rainbow and stuff. And I'm just curling my lashes right here. So yeah. And as you guys can tell, there was like a huge difference which was like really crazy. Low for my fresh clothes. Here I'm taking my Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara and putting that on my upper and lower lashes. So this was the finished makeup look and now on to hair. Like a truck. But can you back it up? Can you back it up? Okay, wait, never mind. So I just took this Essence eyeliner pencil thing and put that on my tight line and my waterline. And so now on to hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I just kind of cleaned this whole place up so that I would have space for my curling iron. And then I took my hair out of the ponytail, parted it the way I wanted it. And yeah, then I just turned on my curling iron. Which is actually my mom's. When I wasn't paying attention, my camera just kind of decided to fall down. So that was great. So I'm taking this Redken Iron Silk something something flat iron heat protectant for my hair. And I'm aware that this is a flat iron heat protectant, but I didn't have any other heat protectant, so I just used that.
And here I'm just brushing my hair out so that it is ready to be curled. And so here I'm just pinning up the upper half of my hair so that I can curl the lower half first. And I've actually never curled my hair before. This was like the first time I've done it on my own. So yeah, I didn't have no idea what I was doing. I just kind of like took pieces and put it around the curling iron and held it for like 10 seconds. And I have no idea what I was doing here. I think I was trying to make it cool off faster. I have no idea. So on this one, I like freaked out because I had held it on there for like 20 seconds and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want my hair to fall off. And then I like burned my hand because it was so hot and then I dropped it and then I was like, oh my gosh, no, I have to hold it. And so then I held it again and it was just like really weird. So yeah. <laughs> And so as for like my front pieces of my hair, I curled them facing away from my face. I kind of knew what I was doing there, um, but yeah. And so now I'm parting my hair because I accidentally parted it wrong right before I started curling. And yeah, so I had to recurl a lot of pieces, but it still looked fine at the end. Check. Okay, okay, so we uh. can party now. She looking too good. She turn away. So this is what it ended up looking like, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I am wearing this black t-shirt that I got from H&M and with that I am wearing this skirt that I got from PacSun. It is just like beige floral. I'm also wearing black tights and I didn't film this but I was wearing gray vans and then I'm wearing these flower earrings. This is how we roll. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready and I'm actually about to leave and so yeah. I curled my hair like two hours ago and so it's kind of not as curled as it was but it's still curled, which is good. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys want more Get Ready With Me's, just let me know in a comment down below. And so I'm about to leave and I'm really excited and I'm gonna meet up with some friends. My battery is dying so I have to hurry up and I have to leave anyway, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can subscribe right here, I'm pretty sure. Follow me on Instagram if you want. I don't usually mention my Instagram, but I mean, if you see it, then you see it. If you don't, then you don't. I mean, I don't really care, but it will be like after this clip if you want to follow me on there it'll also be down below i love you guys and i'll talk to you in my next video bye